to the whiskey vault. We are drinking a special edition Bamor, uh, <laughs> and there's a reason for this camera right there here. There is, you'll find out. But more importantly, Daniel gives me an STD. All right, this is a gift from Joe and Kate Van Name Level 3 Whiskey Somalias. That's a mouthful. This is like $500 a bottle. Joe and Kate Van Name Level 3 Whiskey Somalias, you magnificent bastards. Now, this is the third edition of the Bamor Devil's Cask. I've heard of this. Somebody in the comments would recommend was recommending this. This is a this. marriage of first Phil Oloroso Sherry and Pedro Jimenez Sherry. Okay. Double the devil is what they call it. <laughs> now, the devil cast name, and by the way, I'm just going to tell you. Don't do that. Prepare to be amazed. There you go. When you tilt. You it's a tease. It's not full completion. <laughs> full it's full just, release. Just a tease. It's like the strip gloves of whiskey. So I'm getting that. <laughs> I'm getting the bow. <laughs> bow more. Oh yeah, it's all Balmore on the nose, it but is. there is a raisin kind of cherry note on the back end of that. And when you take a sip, it's going to blow your mind. So to get that raisin cherry note, you can't just sniff in. You do have to do that open mouth thing. So you can. The oh, there it is. Otherwise, the alcohol o overwhelms any of the smells. Chocolate. Oh, the nose. The smell in this is amazing. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited about the last couple of whiskeys. Oh man, the, dude, we've had back-to-back -back amazing whiskeys the past two days. I'm gonna go for some taste. So Balmore is historically one of the smokier, stronger, more challenging whiskeys. Oh my god. That is campfire yeah. with chocolate <clears throat> and orange notes. Mm -hmm. And then it goes really bitter at the end. <clears throat> You okay? Yeah. You need some help? That's too good. I'll nope. step. I'll step up. No, it is leathery. I got your back. Bro. It is leathery, bro. It's like leather smells, right? That ain't fooling around. It is not fooling around. That is a big bunch of flavors. Yeah, this is not subtle. Mm mm. This is not just like, oh hey, what do you think? No. This is trying. It, it's it's got something to prove. Yes, it does. It's got a chip on its shoulder. But yeah, I mean throughout. Through all of that really smoky campfire, uh, it's not like hard, violent aggression. It's some rounded off aggression. It's just some loudness. It's a lot of bravado. It's not actually taking you behind the woodshed. It's just pulling off the belt and swinging it around. You know where the bit. name for this came from? Uh, the story is that the folks of Bamor, an angry mob, gathered around the church to chase the devil. He got in the, the devil ran in the church. They chased him on the church, but the church was round, had no corners. Mm -hmm. So had nowhere, the devil had nowhere to escape. So he jumped into a cask of whiskey to escape. This is it. And this is it. Sean Kaser. Donors is a word. Just saying for next time. <laughs> He's hassling you about donators. Donators is a word too. On the tour video. What was the reply from one of our other watchers? Belfry. Organ donors for a new liver <laughs> for for Daniel, <laughs> then and then Sean's reply: Belfry, haha. At some point, I assume we'll be crowdsourcing liver. <laughs> that's the next project. Yeah. After the best whiskey for the price project. Yeah, that's right. Kickstarter. <laughs> yeah. Leave your comments. New liver. <laughs> Leave your comments. Uh, but what I meant was at 3:40, it says engraved bricks with name of donators. I've just always heard donors in that situation. Okay, so I googled what's the difference between donors Did and donators. Did you not see the title of the video, Sean? We're it hungover. said, hangover edition. <laughs> the fact that I could edit anything, hungover is amazing. <laughs> but, and, and the fact that it's still technically a word. I googled the difference between donator and donor, and this was the first thing that popped up on a quote from Quora. Donator began as legal jargon and is used by those who want to impress or intimidate their readers. <laughs> Rex went pretentious when he's hungover. If your goal is writing to express meaning, donor is adequate to the task. Everything I do is beyond adequate. I'm just saying, we discovered that if you have hungover Rex, you have pretentious Rex. <laughs> sure. Fine. <laughs> we'll go with it. The fact that technically it's a word, because I saw this, it's like, Sh did I typo a word? I googled it, it's like, no, it's a word. I'm fine. It's a word, screw I'm you. I'm fine. <laughs> 
All right. Oh, uh, that's good stuff. Uh, I'll say that one. So again, the last day, the last day to get your recommendations for the best whiskey for the price. Yes. And um, again, just uh, doesn't have to be a specific kind of whiskey. Doesn't have to be a certain price point, but just the whiskey that you think, damn. That's a that's a good value for them. That's a bank. And by the way, if you're wondering about my methodology for this list, well, here's what I do: I collect all of your names with your suggestion in a spreadsheet in two columns, and then I sort by whiskey column for the most suggested number. Do we have water? And by the way, this is uh, let's go fifty six yeah percent. No, I believe it. My God, that's um robust. We'll say. Boys, we have the layout. The heist plan begins. Gather them in. That's why we should never have done the tour. That's right. <laughs> People are getting blueprints. I imagined uh, Ocean's Eleven. My favorite, yeah. <laughs> my favorite part of this was that someone else said, this is gonna be risky or something or other. And then he replied, some of us, some of you may have to die. I'm prepared to live with that. <laughs> so, uh, he is, that was so our people. So we already have security cameras and a security guard. Yeah, Tommy will shoot you. We're not going to tell you where the turrets are because no. they're automated. They machines. are automated turrets. Yes. Uh, oh my God! Dude, four, you have not, four in a row. It's hitting the edge. He is not. I haven't outright missed a single shot. It just hits the edge in four days. It's fifty feet away. You teased me before we started recording. Oh, hey, try that again. Oh, with the water. It's uh, maybe a little boring now. What? All sweet. I may have added too much water. You neutered the damn whiskey. I know. We must. I really didn't add that much water. No, no, no. This, um, I think. Okay, gonna... well, before I pour this one, I want you to try another one that I think you might like. Mm hmm. It's a bourbon, not a. Or I should say it's a. It's a. Not a scotch. Okay. I got hassled for not doing comparisons. Right? And so I'm trying to do more comparisons. I've been trying to do comparisons and you won't go down a fight of stairs. Yeah, that's true. What does that say? It's the a rhetoric. whiskey. Rhetoric. Okay. Orphan barrel rhetoric. This looks like a fancy bottle. It is a fancy bottle. Okay. So not a bourbon you said? No, not technically. It's confusing, isn't it? It is. It's it's simultaneously watery, but not boring. Yeah. You want to know why? Why? Because it's Blinda Geddon from Monday. You mother <laughs> What did you do to me? You gave me herpes. How could you give me herpes? What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, that is too good. Yeah, that's Blindageddon from our level one whiskey small A class last week. It is a mix of 32 whiskeys. In case you're wondering, <laughs> I discovered, so Blindageddon, the small A classes, uh, at the end they take all the leftover whiskeys, so people, you know, they don't drink everything. They don't get drunk, they pour it all into a container and they make the ultimate blend of whiskeys. And the first Blindageddon we had, we'll link the video up here. It was amazing. It was a wild ride. Mm -hmm. And somebody ruined my life whenever they reminded me that alcohol kills bacteria, not viruses. Mm -hmm. So this is liquid herpes as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> he started calling it Herpageddon. <laughs> no, Blindageddon the Herp Edition. <laughs> and it will, it will once be called, once again be called Blindageddon. It's weird, the corner of my mouth is kind of fishy <laughs> right now. It'll be called Blindageddon Regular Edition once we have everybody they do a medical examination yeah. to before they go into the small game program. <laughs> I have a present for you. I'm sure you do. Dude, this, that was a really long build up for a revenge moment right there. Just, oh no, this, really? This is, uh, I commissioned, <laughs> you commissioned a, a piece of fine art <laughs> from Jeffrey Ellinger, Ellinger, Ellinger. Mm -hmm. uh, this is done on 920 of 17. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll, while I was in the whiskey class. Here we go, we'll put that on the screen uh, so you can see it. I think it's brilliant. It's wonderful. Uh, <laughs> Notice the vault in the background. That's right. And the, the Gandalfian shoulder pads there. That's right. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> so this gets a place of honor on the door. No, oh, of course it does. For all time. How come the door is all about you? Because Do you notice that? It's my, that's your door. 
The exit door that doesn't have a handle or access on the outside, you can Here's only the go thing. Out. I want to start putting the names of people who gave us whiskey on that door so I can cover all your crap up. You can't cover the crap. Yes. You can't cover the crap. Yes. You can put the names up. No. Nope. You can't cover the crap. I will cover the crap. I will uncover the crap. <laughs> We're starting the door wars. It's Our happening. first piece of fine art under the biscuit reference material. I will tell you the Blendageddon tastes like every whiskey we put into it. It's not quite rye. It's not quite bourbon. No, the, it's not quite. There's some smoke in there. No, the first blend again was magical. This one was watery but very complex. It wasn't boring. It's um, coming back to it. It's more, uh, way more sherry. Yeah, it is. The smoke. I've acclimated to the smoke. But a lot. then again, we did water it down. Oh yeah, just a little bit. In the we middle. added some back in, but that wasn't enough. The All water right. changed everything. I actually prefer this at cast strength, but you got to be careful with drinking cast strength 56% whiskey. That can come back to bite you in the ass. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Oh, it, is today the day? So. We're gonna do this today. This is happening today. So for those, of, <sighs> th those that have All been right. watching the channel a long time, we have, for a long time, been working on getting our own distillery yep. up and running. Uh, we're gonna have to start a brand new channel because this is a school channel. Yep. We can't do private business on a school channel, which makes sense. It's a nonprofit. You can't favor. Fair them. enough. But the uh, the new channel has always been put off until the distillery has started construction. Okay. So this is what's gonna happen. It's getting real. The reason why we can even talk about the distillery, our private distillery at all, is because it's going to actually be an it's amazing going, resource yes. for the sommelier program. When we do the sommelier program level four and five, you will be in the distillery working stills, learning how to blend, uh, learning how to operate in a functioning distillery. Yes. So. And, and Rex and I are donating the distillery for the use of that. Right. We don't, we won't make a penny from that. Sure. So what we're going to do right now, uh, we're gonna end this video. Right now. As I push this button, and we're gonna okay. walk out of here and do the very first episode on our very first private channel. In the earliest days. I'm not a psalm in the new one, by the way. <laughs> this will not be around my neck. You're just some dude. I'm just some dude. And, I, and fair warning, here, in the earliest episodes, we have dirt and sticks and hopefully some concrete within the next couple yeah, of days. There won't be a lot of structure to the show. No, there won't. So it's going to be a very rough vlog kind of style, but we do want you guys to see step by step how a distillery even comes together, mm -hmm. um, the different components, the different parts, the different pieces. If we really wanted to make the show fun, I could have let videoed myself uh, filling out six months worth of paperwork. Yeah, that's really everything we've done so far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's sexy. <laughs> okay. so. Uh, the name of the new channel, Daniel. It is Whiskey Biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are not joking. Yeah, like what? What can we call this that is sufficiently janky yet inspiring? Yeah, Whiskey Biscuits. <laughs> and by the way, the irony is we came up with the name before Biscuit Wars. <laughs> Biscuit Wars made it so much better. And and I don't even know. You don't know this. The pet name for my one-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. Biscuits. Biscuits. Yeah. I do not know that. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, her name's. Ben. All right, are you ready? Uh, we're ready. We're ending this episode on the toast as I push this button. Okay. To record. Okay, here we go. Everything's turned on. Here's what we're gonna do. You will not get to see "May You Drink With Us" on this video, <laughs> but you will get to see it at the beginning of this video. Yeah. Fair enough. Sure. Is this recording? It's recording. All right. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.